Do you believe in America? Do you value your community? Do you believe in me? Do you believe that I can stand up here, fearless, and talk to you, a whole bunch of people that I've never met before? Well, I can, because I believe that one small voice has the power to shape the future of a community, a state, and a whole country. That's why I'm standing here today as a member of the community, a future employee and a proud citizen. <laughs> hey, fellow Americans, do you believe in me? Yeah. What's that? I can't hear you. You see, here's the deal. In America, the land of opportunity, I can do anything, be anything, create anything, dream anything, become anything, if the older generation, in case you're wondering, that's all of you guys, <laughs> understands that along with math, science, and reading, I also have to be taught about my role and responsibility as a citizen and future leader of my community and country. You see, when our forefathers wrote, we the people, they were talking about me too. <laughs> Let me ask you another question. Do you believe in my classmates? Do you believe that we are America's future? Yes. 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 Well, do you? Yes. <laughs> you see, we are learning science, technology, math, and reading in school. But is that enough? friends from all different backgrounds, different neighborhoods, different skin colors, different personalities. And that's what has always made America such a special place. But us kids don't just wake up knowing we have to respect and preserve something as special as liberty. We have to be taught. Do you believe that? You better, because we are America's future. <laughs> and just learning to pass the test won't sustain our future and the future of this great nation. You better not give up on us or your country. Oh, you better not. We are all depending on you. We deserve the opportunity to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Not because we are entitled, but because you value us enough to teach us what that really means. Now, I already know that I can become the next great American, and I know that we either me and my friends become doctors, engineers, teachers, or plumbers. We already hold the nation's most important title, citizen. But some kids will never really understand what that title of citizen really means. Do you believe every child deserves to learn that lesson? For the good of our communities? For the good of our country? Well, do you? Yes! Can I get an amen? Amen! Well then, it is crucial that along with the skills that make us mathematicians, engineers, or rocket scientists, hello, Huntsville, Alabama! <laughs> We are also armed with strong character that we know our country's history and the opportunities it affords us. That we are truly prepared for life, whatever path we take. And in my generation, just being smart or having a degree won't guarantee a job. Computers are smart. Even our phones are smart. We'll need to be clever, confident, competent, and accountable and able to turn on a dime. So we need these lessons now more than ever. And it wouldn't hurt some adults to have a refresher course either, between you and me. <laughs> Finally, do you believe, as President Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction? Or, as John F. Kennedy said, liberty without learning is always in peril. Learning without liberty is always in vain. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you agree with the words of those two great Americans and the power of every
every small voice to make a big difference in America's future, please don't pass on any opportunity to help teach, inspire, and empower our next generation, our next great Americans. Thank you.